And now to a story making headlines around the world. An Iranian nuclear scientist has reportedly been killed in a bomb blast in Tehran. It's the latest in a series of deadly attacks against nuclear scientists in that country. CNN's Zane Verji joins us now live from London. So, Zane, uh, what are the details of this attack and who is believed to be responsible? Good morning, Frederica. Iran is pointing the finger squarely at Israel for this bomb attack and the death of this nuclear scientist. Iran is saying this is the work of the Zionists. The details that we've learned is that this was some kind of a motorbike attack, Fred, and essentially some, someone on a motorbike just drove by a car and then put a magnetic bomb underneath it of this nuclear scientist and it exploded, killing him and wounding at least two other people. This man was a really important man in Iran because he was actually a supervisor. His name was Mustafa Roshan of the Natanz Uranium Enrichment Facility. Now, that's a... Uh, an important site for the U.S. to keep its eye on because it's said to have something like 8,000 centrifuges in operation. And the reason we care about it is because the U.S. believes Iran is using this program to build a nuclear weapon. This isn't the first time a nuclear scientist has been killed, Fred. A couple in the last two years have died the same way.